Glowing shapes in untouched nature. Surrealistic images from the short film Lucid by the German artists' collective Dreihund. And none of this is done with computer animation. Even images that seem inexplicable are real objects and were actually installed in the surroundings. Tarek Mawad and Friedrich von Schur put a lot of physical work and creativity into their art. Among other things, they use luminescent wires and objects to create their illusions. We'd use anything that glows. It all depends on how you stage it. The techniques and materials we use range from household items. For example, the sphere shape is a lamp from IKEA to projections. For example, we have one shot with a triangle. We cut it out of cardboard and then just projected a colored light onto it. The artists work with simple but ingenious tricks. They string luminous objects on nylon threads and hoist them aloft with kites. For their current film, the artists went to Austria as well as Iceland and spent several weeks in the wild. They both love adventure. We like this gloom and fog when it's really dark. That's when you get this special melancholic atmosphere. I think it has to do with the feeling that you can't control things. You're out there in nature and whatever happens, happens. I think that's the appeal for us. But things don't usually stay dark for Dreihund. In 2014, the artist duo shot the short film Bioluminescent Forest. Here too, all the light effects are projected directly into the setting rather than manipulating the images on a computer. Tarek Mawad and Friedrich von Schur employ an elaborate technology for this called projection mapping. Parts of the forest are illuminated. Effects on irregular surfaces and textures are taken into account. This requires not only a precise plan, but also patience. Especially when the illuminated objects are not only three-dimensional, but also animate. Usually we only project light onto inanimate objects, but we also wanted to use animals, ones that don't move much or that hold still for a while. But with a frog, we had to film for five hours because it kept jumping away. For other projects, the light artists bring a bit of nature into the city. For example, their Nuit Blanche project in Paris in 2015. Dreihund astonished the audience with the projection of a gigantic spider. First, they had to build a cardboard model of the building and film the spider inside it. Then they projected the video onto the inside walls of the building. For the illusion to be perfect, the dimensions and perspectives had to correspond precisely. For us, it's important to keep trying out new techniques. For example, in our next project, we might work with fire or with water or whatever, with a wide range of things. We don't want to limit ourselves. I think that's what enables us to always have new themes and to be able to convey a feeling. <sighs> Dreihund will continue to create illusions in the future without image editing, using physical exertion and ingenious ideas. <laughs>